Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend love romantic relationship reading for you Capricorn. This is for you guys. This is applicable for singles, couples in a relationship or dating. And this is for Capricorn sign. This is for the period of June 14, 15, 16, and 17. Please universe, what can I get for Capricorn? What can they know? For... June 14, 15, 16, 17 for or regarding their love, romantic relationship or dating. What are the messages please for Capricorn? Ready for them to know for 14, 15, 16, 17 of June. First card Capricorn is five of pentacles. You've got eight of pentacles. Hmm. The Empress. You've got Eight of Swords. You've got Seven of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, let's start your reading. Um, so from the past going to present, or um, you could have, for some of you, I'm feeling like you probably have, you know, gotten over the situation. But it seems to be, it is, has something to do with this. This situation has a link to of possible nearest outcome or nearest comeback but let me just you know start with the three cards so you've got five five of pentacles in here someone left someone in the cold you're feeling alone um this also speaks about you know being poor um if it's not poor in financial or not having enough of money or not not having a stability you don't get the attention you don't get enough attraction from people that is important to you um for some of you it's it's a vibe where someone left you someone left you um they were not interested with you so they left you they uh this is also a card where you're you're wanting to get the attention of someone but um right now they're just really being greedy because i see that you know there's three there's, there's three vegars in here this one left this two this 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 lady she has a a, a a bit of a huge huge belt versus the two at the back so i felt like they're greedy they're not holding back not much but those important things those important connections and time that you need them they're not around so what what's that's one of the you know reason in here that's one of the vibe i'm getting is that you you have you know for especially for those people who are in a relationship right now or in betweeners where where you can't really define what are you especially for X coming back reconnection um, <clears throat> you're you know you, you felt like this person someone in here felt like um, when I need you you're not around you know that when when you really really need someone they're not around but if they need you you're always around so it's it's not really a balanced reciprocated kind of relationship or connection there it's, it's you know, there's always one person who benefits and there's always one person who is out and about so you're feeling alone feeling left out feeling not contented of the love the attention or the attraction that this person or your significant other person you know up show to you i don't i don't really sense and pick up um being holding back it's just really sometimes they're unavailable and when they when the when they call you or when they call the other person the other person is always available so i hope you get my lord you know hope you, you get what i'm trying to say someone is always available for the other person the other person um is sometimes unavailable and somewhere out there um you know sometimes it's 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 um it's just really hard you know i'm getting pinned you know it, it it they're so difficult to, to put in one place like it's hard to pin this down this person it's not just um the amount of time they spend to you but not just the effort and time but also the feelings i'm really getting like are you in you know are you into me or not because i can't really understand some sort of inconsistency that you feel that sometimes for some of you you are together but it seems to be their mind is out of nowhere it's 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 not connected with you so there's a vibe in here feeling alone 
they sit next to you but their mind is somewhere or their concentration is not into you so it's really is feeling alone in general someone is feeling alone left alone by a person who is dearest to them right we're more hurt um when we are being left alone or not being given attention by the dearest person close to our heart or the one that we like as simple as that so for some of you i'm picking up especially for dating or getting to know this person they're inconsistent or they can't really pay attention with you because they're really busy at work all right there's something of this person they have some sort of a hobby uh, something that takes most of their time like it could be gym it could be it could be something that they always do that they enjoy and whenever they do that their attention is just into that thing and um somehow you know time passes and they don't you know like they don't remember calling you getting in touch with you um yeah there's something about this person or this connection that it's so tied up with being busy being busy with something that they can't say no right and it's hindering the relationship the connection the reconnection all right um, <clears throat> so you always feel alone so someone feels always alone because of yeah because of what they do it could be as simple as whenever you're at home or together they're always on the cell phone or they're always playing video games you know like you see them physically but you know mentally emotionally they're connected to another person or to a hobby it, it, it seems to be um, a feeling of always competing and you don't win and you feel alone all right now <coughs> um the empress card is in reverse so you're feeling you're feeling like you're not especially for dating or getting to know um it is coming to a point where the communication uh the messages the conversation is getting less and less and it is causing you to have um less confident in making this um, connection or reconnection exclusively it's like your 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 worry is to is that it's failing because it's getting less and less attention because of this hindrance because of this blockages because of this hobby because of this thing that they do whenever they do that they forget you and you feel alone when you feel alone you worry that this wouldn't work something of like that um yeah it's really is some, for some of your competition for some of you i'm i don't really sense um the clingy card is here um and it's uh, it's more futuristic so um yep yeah, okay now moving on i'll get a clarifying cards but let's just move on eight of swords and upright seven of seven of cups so at, at this point give it three to six months from now this person this relationship um their priority is you know the blockages right now this is the time where they really prioritize their work their hobby um this external possibly person or a hobby a work a project something that it takes their time away from you okay this is their priority at this at this point and they do they for some of you i'm picking up you, you you don't look attractive to them whenever you contradict them to go to this um to this for example hobby or friends or it's 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 because the nine of pentacles in reverse is here so it means someone is very clingy so it could be that um it, it's it is it's it's a it's a reading where they won't just give up this hobby this project this career whatever this this thing that they're they take away that you felt like this person is being taken away from you because of this hobby at this point this is their priority not so much of you and the more you like f you know pick fight to them to get their attention the lesser they are attracted to you right what i'm really you know it, i'm gonna give you an advice this is not from tarot i don't see the tarot it's more of it's either you support them or you get a hobby 
for yourself as well to keep you busy because at this point uh, you know seven of cups in reverse for some of you i'm picking up this person it took them so long to reach this project this career this stuff this thing that they enjoy so much that they'd willing to for some of you let go you because you fight you're competing with a hobby you're competing with something that they like um it, it's either be supportive with them or find another hobby to keep yourself busy so that you don't wait the whole time for their text or for them to come home or for them to be available and you know join them in a date or you know because right now at this point here they are eight of pentacles busy with their work career project travel a hobby something that the, this person takes you away from the relationship all right so this is for you guys i'm gonna leave the decision towards you you know it's i'm really picking up the eight of swords now it's like you're trying to convince them to give it up and they said no this is what makes this is you know this is something valuable to me that i cannot give it up something like that and it's causing you it's causing you fight it's causing you fight because you know when when someone is for example one is when, when a person is too much into example me i'm too much into blog so my partner would be at some point annoyed with me because all of my attention is just wrap around with this blog but he cannot compete to me right now because this is my priority i just really have to explain to him you know things like that so instead of competing with my attention i ask him to go somewhere else go to the gym you know go and do the groceries you know and then keep keep yourself busy while I do my stuff. And at the end of the day, we meet up and all it's all fine. So it, it will be different for each one of us. But I felt like one of the um one of the reminder to you is they are they do not find you attractive whenever you like you 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 poke them up, hey, I need your time, hey. Yeah, it's it's more of their needing support. It's like it's hard to compete with this person because they've made up their mind to really stick with this hobby, with this career. This is their priority. Anything goes second second place to this priority. Three to six months from now. All right? So this is for you. Hope this helps. If you do, don't forget to click like. Don't forget to click subscribe. If you want to be connected with me, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Click subscribe here. If you want to further support the channel, we have a merchandise and apparel that, apparel that we sell. Profit goes to the, you know, to the housekeeping of the channel. And it allows us to support charitable institution here in my country. So again, thanks for your time. And I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.